According to latest media reports, the full-scale development work on the AMCA 5.5 generation stealth fighter jet is going on at the desired pace, and officials have said that it will be difficult for the early warning radar systems to locate the AMCA, as it will deflect the radar beams in all directions. Apart from an advanced radar absorbent paint, a new plasma stealth technology is currently being developed that will instantly ionize the radar beam and will make it difficult to locate the AMCA. The supercruise capability will not be available in AMCA Mark I due to a low thrust class engine, but the Mark II version of AMCA will be powered by a more powerful engine with a thrust class of 110 kN. The first prototype of the AMCA will conduct its first flight in 2025, and the series production of AMCA Mark I is set to begin from 2029. Officials have said that the AMCA Mark II will have more advanced radar sensors and will feature sixth-generation characteristics, such as the ability to be optionally manned, automatic takeoff and landing. The production of AMCA Mark II will begin by 2035, and the Indian Air Force is focused on procuring more squadrons of the Mark II version. The Indian Air Force chief recently said that the Indian Air Force is looking for a fighter jet in the middleweight category like the Rafale class, and this reference confirms that five fighter jets will be eliminated from the MMRCA competition, including the Saab Gripen and American F-21 that are below 20 tons maximum takeoff weight, Su-35 and F-15EX that are over 35 tons, and F-A-18 around 30 tons. The fighter jets that fit the requirement include the Russian MiG-35, French Rafale fighter jet, and Eurofighter Typhoon, as they are under 25 tons in maximum takeoff weight. Choosing the same fighter jet for the Indian Air Force and Navy will prove cost efficient for the Indian government, and the French Rafale is the only fighter jet among the final three that has a already operational and a combat-ready naval variant. In a major development, some of the Indian private sector companies have approached the Ministry of Defence, and have requested for funding to develop an indigenous man-portable short-range air defence systems, similar to the $1.4 billion contract won by Russia for its Sigla S system. The combined tri-service requirement will be close to 15,000 systems, and the deal will be worth around $4 billion. Leading private sector companies are willing to develop a similar product in less than two years, and will enter technical testing by the third year, and enter production by 2024, and they are hopeful that they will be allowed to present their concept and project details before the actual combined tri-service project is sanctioned. Chinese media has reported that China's first domestically developed unmanned helicopter which recently made its maiden flight, might be deployed in the southwestern borders with India. The AI-500 unmanned helicopter can conduct reconnaissance and communication relay, but when equipped with additional devices, it can also run electronic disruption, target indication and cargo delivery, 